What's up guys, we are back with another ammo test. Today what I wanted to look into was the difference between ammo that's been sitting on the shelf for a few years and ammo that's brand new. So in this case I got Aguila and Winchester, Super Extra Hollow Points, and Super X. The Aguilas come in a sealed plastic bag. The box on the left I opened three years ago, roughly, and the box on the right I opened and unsealed on the day of the video. For the Winchesters, the box on the top I had bought just a couple months ago, and the box underneath I bought seven years ago and hadn't shot any of them. I know these aren't the wildest age gaps, and I could go out there and test 22 that's 20 or 30 years old compared to stuff that was made just recently, but it's really an unfair test. What I wanted to see was within the same brand and the same type of ammo, if there was any difference given a couple of years, obviously rounds that are 30 years old or so are gonna perform different because they were manufactured different and all that kind of stuff. So it's more of a real life application. So let's get into the testing. Here's the gun I used to shoot the groups. It's a Ruger 1022 with mostly kid parts. I've talked a little bit about this gun in a previous video. If you wanna go back to uh, just my last video, there's some more information on it and in the future I'll probably dig a little bit deeper into it. I've had a lot of luck with it and I think it'd be a good build for somebody that's looking to build an accurate semi-automatic 22 and not spend thousands of dollars. On that note let's get to the testing. We'll start with the older Aguilas. I'll shoot 25 rounds. It's basically just a full 1022 magazine to get a better idea at a larger average group. And we'll go from there. All right, the box of three-year-old Aguila Super Extra Hollow Points. Pretty well on target here. 1.582 inch group. No flyers that are too bad or anything. I did have a couple failures to feed during this round. No misfires or anything, but I had a couple where it didn't cycle the bolt all the way back and I had to manually rack the action to get it to load the next round. But other than that, no issues with this round. On to the new Aguilas. And here's a group for the newer Aguilas. As you can see, we got more than a half inch of improvement out of this one, coming in at 1.073 inches on the overall spread. No flyers, everything's pretty consistent. I'd love to call this the end of the test, but now we gotta let Winchester come in and ruin the day.
Here's our group for the older Winchester Super X coming in at 1.752 inches. Again, nothing crazy when it comes to flyers. You got one down in the bottom right that's a little far out there, but nothing, nothing insane. Let's go ahead and move on to the new Winchesters and see if they do any better. And here's where Winchester comes in and ruins that theory that was looking so good in the first half. We'll just go ahead and ignore that flyer all the way out there to the left. I definitely pulled that one. So even ignoring that, we still have a 1.908 inch group, which is in fact worse than our 1.7 or so that we got with the older ones. So that kind of throws our theory out the window here. Now you could argue all day about whether it makes a difference, the age of the ammo or not, but I think in this case the only thing we've really proved is that if you want to shoot a tighter group, just get a better ammunition. That's really all it comes down to. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I know this was a short little ammo test, but I figured if I'm going to ask myself the question, I might as well record it and post it for everybody else to see as well. So I should have some more interesting stuff coming up here in the future. Again, I'm working on a long range AR build that'll be relatively interesting. Working on getting a suppressor for my Squirrel 22 so then we can get out in the woods, get a little hunting done. Speaking of that, I do have a video painting that 22, so if you want to go check that out, feel free. That should be one of the earlier videos on my channel. And other than that, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.